Post-match analysis, Nigeria vs. Libya, 1-0. In a crucial Afghan 2025 qualifier match held in Uyo, Nigeria, on Friday the 11th of October, 2024, the Super Eagles of Nigeria triumphed over Libya with a narrow 1-0 victory. This vital win places Nigeria back on top of Group D with seven points after three games. Earlier in the day, Benin Republic had convincingly beaten Rwanda 3-0 to temporarily take the lead in the group with six points. However, Nigeria's victory ensured they reclaimed the top spot. Benin remained second with six points, Rwanda third with two points, and Libya last with just one point. Nigeria now holds a goal difference of plus four, a solid boost to their qualification hopes. Nigeria's lineup and formation. Nigeria employed a 4-2-3-1 formation, with Stanley Mwabali between the posts. The defensive back for consisted of Ola Aina, William Trustacone, Calvin Basie, and Bruno Onyemichi. Wilfred Ndidi and Frank Onyeka partnered in midfield as the two defensive midfielders. Ahead of them, Moses Simon played on the right wing, Alex Iwobi operated centrally, while Adamola Lukman was on the left. Victor Boniface started as the lone striker, with Taiwo Awani on the bench as a substitute option. Notably, Victor Ozerman was absent from the lineup, but the Super Eagles managed well without their star forward. Libya, playing a defensive 5 for 1 formation, made it difficult for the Super Eagles to break through their compact defense. Their goalkeeper, Mured Al Wuhishi, played a pivotal role in keeping the scoreline respectable for Libya by making six key saves throughout the match. Tactical Battle and Match Statistics Nigeria dominated the game in terms of possession and attacking play, registering 63% ball possession compared to Libya's 37%. The Super Eagles recorded 15 shots, seven of which were on target, while Libya only managed two shots without any on target. Nigeria created two big chances during the match, missing one, while Libya failed to create any click-out opportunities. The Super Eagles completed 86% of their passes accurately, while Libya registered a 78% pass accuracy. Nigeria's attacking threat was further demonstrated through their six corners, as opposed to Libya's zero. Additionally, Nigeria won 26 throw-ins, further underlining their territorial dominance, while Libya only managed nine. Despite the overwhelming possession and pressure, it took until the 88th minute for Nigeria to find the breakthrough. Substitute Fizio Dele Bashiru, who came on late in the game, scored the winning goal with a clinical finish after a brilliant assist from Moses Simon. This late goal proved decisive, sealing the win for the Super Eagles. Key players and substitutions Bruno Onyemichi who put in an excellent shift in defence, was named man of the match with a rating of 8.0. His composure and ability to shut down Libya's rare attacks played a crucial role in Nigeria keeping a clean sheet. Other substitutes also played significant roles in the match. Samuel Chukwiz, Raphael Onyedika, Taiwo Awani, and Semi Ajayi all made appearances to add energy and depth to the team's performance. Their fresh legs helped Nigeria maintain the pressure on Libya and eventually secure the late goal. Historical dominance and path to Afghan 2025. This victory continued Nigeria's 100% win record against Libya in recent encounters. The Super Eagles have now won all four of their last games against the Libyans, reinforcing their superiority in this head-to-head -head contest. Looking ahead, the return match against Libya, scheduled for Tuesday 15 October 2024, could potentially secure Nigeria's qualification for AFCON 2025, depending on other results in the group. 
another win would strengthen Nigeria's position at the top and edge them closer to booking their ticket to Morocco for the tournament. Conclusion Though Libya's defensive setup made it challenging for Nigeria to score, the Super Eagles demonstrated patience and resilience, finding the winning goal in the dying moments of the match. Fizayo Dele Bashiru's late heroics, coupled with Moses Simon's creativity, ensured Nigeria claimed all three points in what was a must-win encounter. As the team prepares for the return leg, fans will be hopeful for another solid performance that could confirm their place in the upcoming Afghan tournament. For more coverage on the Afghan 2025 qualifiers and in-depth analysis of Super Eagles matches, subscribe to Avuncular Productions on YouTube. Stay updated with all the latest football news, match breakdowns, and exclusive insights into your favorite teams and players. Avunculus Production is a YouTube channel managed by Avunculus Services, dedicated to production of contents that are engaging, entertaining, and educative in sports, politics, and general lifestyle. We cover sport events such as a rundown analysis of weekly match fixtures in English Premier League, Spanish La Liga, and European competitions such as Champions League, Europa Cup, and FA Cup in various leagues. We give you gist as regarding latest transfers in European clubs like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, AC Milan, Juventus, Inter Milan, Napoli, Galatasaray, Bayern Munich, Bayern Leverkusen, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, Villarreal, PSG, Lyon, Monaco and many other clubs. We also cover Afghan qualifiers matches regarding the Super Eagles of Nigeria. We discuss the Nigeria Professional League Football and CAF Club competitions too. On behalf of the manager of Avunculus Services, Achegbilu Genuine Wojo David, we want to thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video production and updates. It's goodbye from us for now. Thanks. At Avunculus Production. Copyright Symbol Avunculus Services.